Hey guys, Ghost Spencer's dad here, and there are a lot of different Pokemon products out there, from single sleeve packs to booster boxes. Today we're going to talk about them all. We're going to list the pros and cons of each one, and also discuss which one is best for your situation. And for this video, we will be referring to recent sets that are available everywhere for around retail price. Sets like Lost Origin, Silver Tempest, Brilliant Stars, Crown Zenith, Scarlet and Violet Base, and the new Paldea Evolved. Up first, we will talk about ETBs. That's an elite trainer box. Many retail in the $40 to $50 range, and they contain 8, 9, or some even have 10 packs. They contain some sleeves to protect your cards, some dice counters and a player's guidebook, and some dividers, all used in the actual gameplay. And the empty box makes a great storage box. These are very popular for people who enjoy opening packs. They're very affordable for most and make a great gift for children, for birthdays, and Christmas. Some of the pros are the affordability, all the contents that you get in the box, there's a nice amount of packs to open up, and it is a very enjoyable experience. Now, some of the cons are that the packs are random and there are no guarantees. We have opened many Elite Trainer box and gotten no hits out of them. And $50 may be a lot to spend for some. And up next, we'll talk about single packs. These single sleeve packs are a cheap and readily available way to open some cards and have some fun. Most are in the $5 to $6 range and can be found about just anywhere that you already shop. Some of the pros are the price. You can just grab a pack or two whenever needed. They're in the checkout lanes and you can just throw one in the cart. And they make a great anytime gift for yourself or anyone you know who likes Pokemon. Some of the cons are is that it only takes a short amount of time to open each pack and so the enjoyment ratio is pretty low and you're unlikely to pull any hit cards because you will be at the full odds of pulling those cards. And up next we will talk about the multi-pack blisters. And these are usually 10 to $15, sometimes a little more. And they come in either like a two or a three packs. Many will contain the same set, but some will have multiple sets, packs in them. And some may even cross eras, like you may get a sword and shield uh, era packs as long, along with Scarlet and Violet. Um, they're a great price and uh, they make good gifts for like your kids' friends' birthday parties and stuff like that where the $10, $15 range is perfect. Uh, the pros are the affordability <clears throat> and the mixed sets sometimes uh, do have the mixed era packs which may be a, a pro or a con and the enjoyability. Three packs is a nice amount to open and enjoy and many come with promotional cards that you would need to make a full complete set. And the cons could be the cost, you know, it's the same price, maybe a little more than uh, two or three single packs. And now we move on to the metal tins. These tins are great and come in a huge variety. The tins usually contain four to five packs and usually price from 20 to $30. They usually also contain a promo card. Some of the pros are the tins can be very useful for storage. The variety of packs, and they usually come with promo cards. You could get packs from all different sets and all different eras in the same tins, and the tin next to it may have completely different stuff in there, which leads up to the cons. You can't really see what's inside, so you don't know. Sometimes you can kind of figure it out if you've opened a few or if you look it up, but generally, you never really know. Different stores could have the same tin, but contain different packs in it. Now we move on to the specialty boxes. Now this is a huge category as there are hundreds and hundreds of them. And you'll just kind of have to look at them and look inside to see what you're getting. Some may only have four packs, some may have eight, some may be $20 and some may be $70. It's just a huge gap here in these specialty boxes. Some come with giant promo cards, some come with little pins and figurines. Some come with multiple promo cards. So again, the pros and cons really depends on which one you get. I'll post a picture of a whole bunch of different ones up here so you guys can kind of see kind of what I'm referring to on these. These actually probably make the best gift just from the wide variety of what you can get in them. 
and who you're giving them to. You know, are you giving it to your own child? Is it a gift for somebody else? Is it a gift for yourself? And lastly, we'll move on to the big daddy of them all, the booster boxes. These contain about 36 packs of a single set of cards, but the pro is you get a guaranteed hit card in each one, like a secret rare, like a secret art rare card, you know, but the pricing on these is usually somewhere over $100 up to $150 depending on the set. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this buyer's guide really helps you out in picking out which Pokemon products you like. Come join us over at Go Spencer. We open up a lot of cards on the channel and have a lot of fun doing it. Consider liking and subscribing. Click that bell icon to get notified every time that we post new videos. We're always out and about trying to find local Pokemon products from different stores around that we all go to. We have tons of fun videos and we're making more every single day.